so yeah welcome to this presentation on improving water use efficiency with micro irrigation systems in this video we'll explore the use of digital technology and physical prototyping to address the challenges facing the irrigation sector customer perspective so in this slide we'll discuss who is the customer in the context of irrigation the customer is a farmer who uses micro irrigation systems to water their crops by understanding the perspective of the customer we can design irrigation systems that meet their needs and improve their farming practices here we'll discuss engineering perspective so from an engineering perspective the challenge is to design micro irrigation systems that are both efficient and cost effective digital technology such as computer aided design software and simulation tools can help optimize the system design and identify potential issues before construction now moving on to slide 4 we'll discuss environmental perspective the environmental problem facing the irrigation sector is the unsustainable use of water resources in agriculture micro irrigation systems can help mitigate this problem by significantly reducing water uses compared to traditional flood or overhead irrigation methods We'll discuss economic perspective. The high cost of irrigation is an economic problem for farmers. Digital technology and physical prototyping can help reduce material and labor costs while improving water use efficiency, making irrigation more accessible and cost effective. Now moving on to slide 6, we'll discuss social perspective. The social problem associated with irrigation is the impact of agriculture on communities and water resources. Micro irrigation systems can help mitigate the impact of drought and climate related changes, challenges, protect natural ecosystems and ensure access to clean water for future generations. Now moving on to slide 7, we will discuss this in the perspective of politics. The political problem facing the irrigation sector is promoting the adoption of micro irrigation systems as a sustainable alternative to traditional methods. Government can help by incentivizing the adoption of micro irrigation systems through subsidies or other financial support. Moving on to a small discussion on digital technology. Here, digital technology can significantly improve micro irrigation systems by optimizing system design and identifying potential issues before construction, reducing material and labor costs, and improving water use efficiency. Moving on to slide 9. We'll discuss something about a physical prototyping. Typing. So, physical prototyping can help test and refine system components, ensure that the system operates as intended, and reduce material and labor costs. Now, moving on to slide 10. This presentation discusses how micro irrigation systems improved through digital technology and physical prototyping can address challenges in the irrigation sector from various perspectives, creating more sustainable farming practices. Thank you.